you guys. I am sweating my butt off. Okay, so it is Friday. Grady did not have school today. It was like a teacher work day or something. So his entire school district did not have school today. So I um, went to Whole Foods because I was already in that area. It's like an hour from my house. So Grady and I went to Whole Foods after doing the errands and stuff we needed to do around the area. Um, and I did pick up some things. Um, now normally I do not shop at Whole Foods, definitely not on a regular basis. I would say I probably go there between two to four times a year and do like a haul. Um, this week's haul is a little smaller because I went to um, Lidl this week, which I shared a few days ago. I'll link that video below and got some things. And then I also went to BJ's a few days ago and got some things. I did not film a BJ's haul. Um, I think it was just too much of a crazy day that day, but I didn't get anything that exciting. I just got kind of a lot of staples that I normally get. So um, today's haul that I'm gonna share with you now, again, is from Whole Foods, and um, I'll share the meal plan after, but that is what's going on. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So we just left Whole Foods, that was interesting. Hey, can you get your cats and show everybody your cats? So get the other cat. So we saw, he saw these at checkout, they're Melissa and Doug, and he begged me for them and it's his birthday very soon so I did cave and that's to be honest part of a big chunk of his birthday present hey show the show the cats let's see their faces meow meow they're really really cute and then I'm about to eat lunch I got lunch at the Whole Foods buffet but it was so crowded it's a Friday right now so I'll show you what I grabbed I'm gonna scarf it down really quick in the car so I got they have the best buffet. So I got some beef brisket, some smoked sausage, some curry cauliflower, some roasted tomatoes, sesame mushrooms, garlicky green beans. So I'm gonna eat this really quick because um, I'm starving. And it's so much easier going shopping alone. But yeah, this is my lunch and I'll share with you guys my haul when I get home. Alright guys, I'm going to share everything I got from Whole Foods. I spent $128 and I normally don't shop here but I was in the area and I don't know, a few times a year I'll go and get the stuff that I need. I did do a midweek grocery haul, which I shared earlier this week. I'll link it down below. I also went to BJ's this week, so I really didn't need a whole lot. I just needed specific things and I always like to find new things at Whole Foods as well. So I'm gonna start over here. Uh, my son's birthday is coming up and I have been stumped as to what to get him, but he actually uh, saw these at checkout. There is this one and this one here. They are by Melissa and Doug. I actually saved the tags because I Snapchatted about them and a bunch of people messaged me and said, uh, a bunch of people snapped me and said, what are those, what are they called? So the orange one is the pumpkin tabby and the gray one is the greasy tabby. So they were $12.99, which is probably slightly inflated maybe because of Whole Foods. But they're really, really cute, super soft. So I wanted to share those because I got questions on them. I got a big thing of marinara sauce. I've tried this brand before. It's really, really good. Um, and I'm going to use it for Sunday dinner, like a big pot of sauce with pasta, meatball, sausage. I did need olive oil, so I grabbed a big thing of olive oil. This is the 365 um, Whole Foods brand. And I thought it was a good price. It's a huge bottle. It was $6.99. Very excited about this. I raved about this last spring and summer. Love this stuff. I have never seen the pecan. So I got the, yes, hold on baby. I got the pecan cold brew. So normally I get the vanilla one, but um, I haven't seen this one. And I ha when I saw the pecan, I was like, okay, I'm sold. Um, I'll link my video down below of how I make these. Um, just cold ice brew coffee at home. I got some of the Whole Foods brand um, Quick Oats for baking. I like to make like apple crisp or peach crisp. So I got those because I was all out of oats completely. I did grab this hand soap, again, the Whole Foods brand. This is the Sweet Pumpkin Foaming Hand Soap. I'm just a sucker for hand soaps. You guys know this. I got some of the Yum Earth. These are like fruit snack, gummy, Halloween bats. So I got these. My son saw them and wanted them. So I grabbed those. I got some of the Whole Foods brand white corn tortilla chips. These are the lightly salted ones, which will be perfect for nachos or chips and salsa on Sunday when we watch football. Here's the other little cat, which I think is really cute. I did get some chicken thighs, which I did need um, for a recipe. So I'm gonna throw these in the freezer till I need them. I got some meat from the butcher, which I'll share with you at the end. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what I got. 
I got some spring mix. Um, this is just triple washed organic spring mix. Um, not too, too bad of a price on this. So my son loves potato wedges, so I thought I would try this brand. It's the Earth Bound Farm, and these are just roasted organic yellow wedge potatoes with rosemary and garlic. And I know we will like them, but I'm gonna try those. I got some of these Annie Chung's. These are the mini chicken and garlic wontons. I like this brand a lot. So these will be perfect because um, we do a lot of like munchy foods on Sundays again for football. I did grab these zucchini spirals. I see people making these all the time. I don't have like the little um, hand tool to make them, but I thought I would give them a try because I love zucchini. It's one of my favorite veggies. And if they're good, maybe I will invest in one of those little tools to make them at home because I do buy a lot of zucchini anyway. So I'm going to saute this up. And then I got a whole bunch of these Stonyfields um, Yo Kids yogurts. I got a whole bunch of strawberry, some vanilla. Um, Grady actually tried one at the store and really liked it. And they do have much better ingredients than those Janin like squeeze pouches that I've been getting for him. So since he liked them, I grabbed them. They were expensive. They were like $1.79 each. So if you guys know where I can buy these in bulk, the Yo Kids um, organic pouches, not the tubes, the pouches. If you guys know where I can get them in bulk, let me know. And I'm going to open these up and show you guys what I got from the butcher. All right, guys, so first off from the butcher, I got these huge spinach and feta cheese turkey burgers. They are huge. So I did only get two because I'll have one and Matt will have one. Since they are so big, we won't need any more as far as meat. So we're going to grill those up. I have some brioche buns in my freezer. We'll toast those up and have turkey burgers on brioche buns. It's going to be really yummy. I got some, and all, their, um, all this stuff they make in-house, even the sausage. So I got some huge Italian pork sausage, which I'm gonna pan fry and then throw in my marinara sauce on Sunday. And then I got a pound and a half of their beef Italian, again, made in house meatballs. And it's just lean beef. Um, I'm pretty sure it's farm raised organic. And then it has all the seasonings and cheese in them. They're really nice sized meatballs. So Sunday's gonna be meatballs and sausage and a big pot of sauce with pasta and some Italian bread. So I love everything I got. Again, I don't go here all the time, guys. It's maybe two, three, four times a year I will do a haul from there. But just wanted to share something different with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will share now my meal plan for the week. Oh my God, guys, can I just add, it's so much easier when you go to the grocery store alone. I know you guys feel me on that. I was so distracted, it was so busy in there and you gotta keep one eye obviously on your kid and uh, I'm exhausted from that Whole Foods trip and uh, it, was, it was that crazy in there. But anyways, my meal plan for the week, if you're curious, I think I mentioned earlier, today is Friday. Tonight we are having those turkey burgers and the zucchini noodles. That's our dinner for tonight because it was going to be like breakfast or leftover night, but I don't have any leftovers and I don't feel like breakfast. So if you're curious, turkey burgers will be tonight. Um... Sunday, which this weekend, um, hopefully I can get this video up tomorrow, Saturday, but Sunday we're going to have, again, that pasta with meatballs, a sausage, and that good marinara sauce. I have bread in the freezer that I'm going to thaw out and toast off, some salad, and then Monday, it's going to be like a two for one. Monday we are going to have leftovers from Sunday, so that takes care of two days this week. Possibly Tuesday, we're going to have pizza on the grill. We use non bread, which I have in the freezer. It freezes really well. I have a video on this I will link down below. We're also going to do chicken wings on the grill. So pretty much it's going to be pizza and wings, which is a perfect combination, but both on the grill. And again, I'll link the video below. I have showing both of these things in one video. It's like a favorite grilling video recipe that I did over the summer. Uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday. These might be flip flopped. I'm going to make a five ingredient like rustic chicken stew. I have a video. It's a crock pot dish. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday are really busy days because Grady goes to speech therapy after school. So I'm going to do this in the crock pot Wednesday or Thursday. I will link this down below as well. It's really, really good, especially for five ingredients. One, I'm going to do the Pioneer Woman Recipe Corn Chowder. I got some corn at Lidl earlier in the week that I was going to grill, but I decided to use it to make this corn chowder. It's one of my favorite soups. I love the Pioneer Woman's recipes. I'll link the video down below that I did on this a couple years ago, and I'll make a salad and some rolls. And then with that chicken stew, I'm going to do cornbread and veggies, some kind of veggie or maybe even just a salad. We've been having a lot of salads lately. 
Friday night, I'm going to do a big tray of shepherd's pie, which I top with mashed potatoes, like cheesy mashed potatoes, and I'll do a salad. Um, I do have a video on this. I'll link it below. And then next Saturday, which is going to be a week from t the day you're seeing this video, our friend Justin is coming from New York. He's going to be here for over two weeks. I think it's like just over two weeks he's going to be here at our house. So he said Saturday he wants to take us out to dinner, and obviously we are not going to say no to that. So it'll be nice because I won't have to cook, and then I get a double meal here so I won't have to cook. So it's just going to be great because I have a lot to do this week with getting stuff ready for him to come. But I hope you guys enjoyed this chaotic video and have a great rest of your weekend. And I will see you guys back Monday with a new video here on my channel. Bye, guys.